Okie dokie guys, let's have a look at number 6 then. We've got this thing here. Uh, y equals 4x plus 3 on top over the linear factors x plus 3 times 2x plus 5. We've already given the game away of course because we've got 3 possible ch to choose from. And it's clear that it's linear factors. It's this case here. So in form and structure it's a over the first linear factor plus b over the second. So that'll be case 1. So let's just jot that down. So we're applying that rule. So that'll be a over the first linear factor which is x plus 3, plus b over the second linear factor, 2x plus 5. Okay, great. So let's cross multiply then. By, uh, let's multiply by the denominator, rather. So we're going to multiply by that denominator, which is x plus 3 times 2. That will cancel then on the left to leave 4x plus 3. And that will equal then, uh, in effect, it, this will move up to there, so to speak. In a visual way, I suppose you could say, plus b lots of that. Yeah, get that. So now we've got this thing here. So what values do a and b have then? Yeah, well, we can substitute convenient values, make this disappear. Well, we'd need to put in minus 5 over 2, wouldn't we? So we'd end up with minus 5 plus 5, which would be 0. And we'd need to put minus 3 in here to make that 0. So that's the easiest value to put in. So let's do that then. Sub in x equals minus 3. 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. Plus 3. Minus 12 plus 3 is minus 9. Equals. And then that will be uh, that will be 0. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0. Times b is 0. And then you've got 2 lots of x, which is minus 3. That's minus 6 plus 5. is minus 1 lot of a, yeah? So that will t straight away then you can see a equals 9. Sure. Yeah, a equals minus 9 divided by minus 1, which equals 9. There we go. That's that bit done there. Okay. So a is 9. Now we'll put in the other slightly more awkward value, which is minus 5 over 2. And then that this bracket will disappear, won't it? So put in that then. What do we get there? We get 4 lots of x, which is minus 5 over 2 plus 3 equals minus 5 over 2 this will disappear because 5 over 2 times 2 is minus 5 plus 5 is 0 0 times a is 0 plus b then you've got minus 5 over 2 plus 3 well that's minus 2 and a half this is plus 3 so you could put it in explicitly if you want so we've got minus 5 over 2 plus 3 there we are which works out to be a half so that implies then I'm going to read from right to left, a half b, or b over 2, equals this thing here. Um, minus 10, yeah? Uh, plus 3 is minus 7. So then that tells you that b times by 2 both sides, b will equal minus 14. There we go. That's that one done. Great. So then the answer, 4x plus 3 over x plus 3 times 2x plus 5 equals a, which is 9, over x plus 3, plus b, which is minus 14, over um, 2x plus 5. There we go. And we know that a plus and a minus together is a minus, so I can just tidy that up here and combine them. I'll just write that as a minus, yeah? There we go. A bit big minus, wouldn't it? Let's just let's tidy that up just a tad more and try and get it right. There we go. That's better. Okay, that's the answer then. Let's go on to seven. Great.